Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, lads, all ladies, pirates, players, we all put behind the profile stats. Time to put on the Mickey Mouse mic. Check mic one, two. So we can put an F for efforts into our gameplay in Germany as we continue, or for some, begin to evolve. Right, today's video is all about booty lovers. Now, don't put Unique Rebel and Booty Lovers in the search engine of YouTube because it's not for the faint-hearted because that's why I did yesterday. I thought I made a video covering a guild by the name of Booty Lovers and I found that basically I put in a search engine and things came up. It's not for the faint-hearted, but I've visited the guild of booty lovers and they do love to gain a lot of booty. And when we say booty, we mean booty by the means of gold, grog, loot, bandits, you know what I'm trying to say? They're loot bandits. They've got Fido, that's my friend, you know what I'm saying, new friend. they got Gans, they got Agua Verde, they got Nikki. Scholar Rock, Surfate, Plumber, they've got Pound Bag, they've got Captain Madness, they've got Dr. G. Davis, that's the one, Marvin, they've got Bones, Lily, Marco, Fist and Baggins, don't ask me what that means. What's this one here? Alright, this one's uh, Sailing Strong, he's just down trying to say. R, Pika Seka, Asheville, Sheepshed. Washu, Texi, Merfolk King. Oh my word, that sounds a bit like a bit of a swear word there. If you kind of pronunciation it in a different way, we've got Jelly Junior Free, we've got Dot Destroyer, we've got The Grim, we've got Jelly Pirate, Long Ranger, YNWA, we've got Dosh, we've got R Tom. So, yeah, Dosh, what's going on, Sunshine? Fish and chips plus mushrooms this side of town in San Transley. Yeah, we're always trying to work towards the fish and chips. Yeah, the guild's got three and the same. Three total wins. High score, half a mil. That's respectable. Anything above 100k average, you've got my respect. You know what I'm saying? By Thunder, we love to plunder. English required. In other words, you can allow your gameplay to do the talking. You know what I'm saying? So, it's all about restarters. Welcome. So, basically, if you've been playing for a while, you're coming back to the game. You're welcome here. It's not trying to say. They're trying to keep it respectable. Free in the rank to, to join. I'm telling you. They've got quality. They've got quality captain, captain there. They've got quality. Decent people. Players. I would love. To someday see. Dosh. To meet up. With. See like people like. Where are they? They're always running around. That's because they're the rum runners. I'd like to see someone like Dosh meet up with someone like the monkeys. Full Cell. The monkeys, what happened to your island? Yeah, I'd like to see Full Cell meet up with Dosh. And I like these two players, people, real people behind the profile stats, to meet up with someone like. Tanglefoot, you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, I'm the kind of person, player, that's been observing this game. I've been through more guilds than you can see on the rumble table, you understand what I'm trying to say? Or even the, the guild table, or even the monthly leaderboards table. I've been through guilds, I've seen things, I've known things, I've met people. I know how people's minds work, how their hearts work. Well, <coughs> sorry. <clears throat> I don't know exactly how people's intentions work, but <clears throat> from what I see and understand and what I've observed, I can see what kind of people work well together. So it's just a matter of time. It may take some people a longer period of time to understand certain specifics, but they'll always get to it at the end of the day <clears throat> because it gets dark. Or <clears throat> you can use a unique rebel as a stepping stone to... Elevate your own 
approaching the gameplay, and that's what he's all about, and that's what he's always been about. He's always been about <coughs> using me as a stepping stone. But when I say stepping stone, I don't mean that you <coughs> use me and take advantage of my good nature. And I'm trying to say, Fido, so it's like basically when I do things for people, the players, one of the reasons why I don't stick around one place for too long is because <coughs> it's very difficult for me to find a place that is, <coughs> I won't say worthy of my efforts, but I look for players and people that are not going to upset me and who I would not do the same back to because I've got a habit of burning bridges and and it's just one of those things where <coughs> I'm not I'm a team player but I when I get pushed a bit I don't want to really be a team leader you understand what I'm trying to say because I can't I'm a rebel you understand what I'm trying to say <coughs> and I'm a real rebel I'm not going to stick to one place. I have to move around because in the past I've been disappointed. You understand what I'm trying to say in the game. And I'm not going to allow that to happen ever again. So it's like you have to use this game in such a manner that you have to keep an open mind and not an open heart. So yeah, so who's this? New New? Who is Monkey the New New? New, new. That's Julian. Oh my word. 1500 rank. Oh my. How many players do you know in the world that have reached 1500? I could probably count two, one or two, you understand? This is one of them. This is a rare breed. What are you doing? You're stuck right between a fizzy pop and a unique rebel. Ah, oh, so who are you? I thought I knew you, but. New, new. I've seen that name before somewhere. Mmm, who are you? I thought I knew you, but now I know that new news here as well. I've seen it before. See, there it is. Look, new new. That's the one. Lamar, you. That's you. I knew I knew you. That's the one. Yeah, so I see things across the game. I do things. I visualize and I observe at a point, at a level. I'll give you an example, right? I see the example. Where is Nickelodeon, your monkey mush? Where are you? Okay, Papa Pirat. Whatever that. Sound like a bra tie gay. Like, you see the way this is set up? You see the way the sister is set up? Now, the similarity of this player, this player set up, is going to be similar to this player here. So, it kind of. I begin to feel and realise that when I see similarities, I start thinking maybe it's the same player doing the same thing, you understand? So it's like I can run from... It's like uh, you play those games where you got cards, you flip them over, one's got an umbrella, one's got a ball, and you got there's another got sunshine, another's got water, and they come back, you see another one with an umbrella, you realise there's two that match, you understand what I'm trying to say? So that with this game, I start seeing things, I start seeing algorithms that people don't see. I start to see things and visualize things that people don't see. And that takes me to a level a bit further above the rest. And it's just not the kind of thing that I planned. It's like basically, while you guys are all planning to gain loot, gain gold, gain grog, gain e gain EP and BP, and you're going for gems and outfits and whatever. I'm working on something else, you understand what I'm trying to say? It's like, when you're planning to like become a teacher, I'm thinking about becoming the teacher that teaches a teacher, you understand what I'm trying to say? While you think about being a pilot, I'm thinking about how to teach pilots, you know? You've got to reach that a little bit more. And the thing is, there's no harm in dreaming a bit more. There's no harm in trying to reach a bit higher than what your intended goal is. There's nothing wrong with that. And that's what we've got to try doing. And that's the way we've got to work towards. We've got to aim bigger. We've got to try to reach higher. Because the world that we live in now has changed. And with the changes, we have to evolve. 
and the only way that we can keep up with the game is not to allow Midoki or Sumo or whoever to pull the strings upon us. They don't decide when this game goes down. We're the ones that decide this time. We're the ones that make it make it work or make it not float, you know. So it's time to rock the boat. It's time to do something new. It's time to change the game. It's time for us to do things in our own individual ways. Try to play the role that we are meant to be playing, become that brick that builds the house, that holds up the roof, the pillars. We all have a place, an important place in this game. We all just have to find where our destiny is. <laughs>